Welcome to your daily five for Monday, November 7th, 2022. I'm Bruce Frazier, your host. And with me today is my co-host, Johnny Scan. John, thank you for being here. Great to be here, Professor. Going to be a really, really interesting show because we're going to see the world of Wyckoff in action in a very challenging market structure right now. That's going to be the theme for today is Wyckoff in action. So here we have a very interesting chart that shows parabolic move up and off support. What does that mean in the world of Wyckoff, Professor? Well, so uh, the thing that we look for in Wyckoff is contextual chart characteristics where we identify the different phases of a chart structure. Here, this looks like potentially the completion of accumulation. And so at the final accumulation area, this again is where context is, is you have one final test and then you start to have a more important run up and out of the accumulation area, which demonstrates that strong hands have absorbed these shares over a period of time. And so look at the near vertical launch of this uh, final test here, three lows along this area, and then a very sharp jump up to initial resistance, which is a sign of strength, and then potentially to the next resistance area. This could be the uh, early stages of an important new uptrend. John, uh, how do we find stocks like this? Well, this would be in the category of spring-like action that moves up and off a low and holds above that low, doesn't return to that low. That would be a spring or an LPS in the world of Wyckoff. And here we see an example of one in action. Should we take a look at our next stock? So what are we seeing here? Little bit different picture here. We had the up move right to the 200, declining 200. And look at that really sharp decline on high volume uh, towards the lows. Didn't quite make the lows, but that move may not be over yet. This is kind of metal in the industrial machinery area. Big drop, attempting to recover 5.259% uh, on Friday. So there's still a little get up and go in that, but this would be an up thrust a move above resistance down to uh, support or even worse. So hasn't made it quite there yet, but could. Your thoughts, Professor? Just that you can see here that each one of these important highs is a lower high. And part of Wyckoff is identifying strength. And so uh, strength may be temporary, but we need to have a rally that can take out these prior peaks, even if it pulls back again. So far, Kenna Metal cannot do that. Not that it isn't possible in the future, but this very sharp break off of a lower high is a warning. And so this really fits, I think, with your uh, concept of the upthrusting action. So uh, should we look at the next stock? Absolutely. What are we seeing here? Well, this is an unmistakable breakout. Look at that move from the 80s up to 110, 30 point move in what, two weeks? How incredible is that? So here we have technology, not been a great area, computer services, relatively inexpensive stock with a yield, big, big causation, nice relative strength, everything pointing up uh, and moved parabolically out of a small structure holding above the 200 moving average. A lot to like there. So the key characteristic that I see here is that you have a very large accumulation type event. This could be a reaccumulation along this area. This is all causal potentially. Now, the other part that makes the stock so compelling is just the sheer nature of this persistent advance up and out of the resistance area. It doesn't even stop here. It has a little bit of a, a break right there, holds, and then immediately starts to surge again. This is really the kind of characteristic that we would see after absorption. And so now 
we would look for potentially a pause or some kind of a backup with the ability to stay above resistance. Very interesting structure here, John. I really like the uh, look of this. And one, maybe not to get in, might be overextended here, but could have potential to get on at a later point. Now, here is Davida. What are we seeing? Well, this would be an example of a breakdown. So here we have an attempt to move up to the 200, which would function like an up thrust. And then look at the gap down, complete void between support and resistance, crash through resistance, and is heading lower um, uh, through support, I should say, and heading lower at that. What a terrible, terrible move on that chart for that stock. Your thoughts, Professor? Well, you can see this is just sort of the playbook for the stock. Up thrust, failure. Up thrust, failure. Up thrust, failure. And so this stock just seems to just keep redistributing itself on the way down. So it has both the attributes of up thrusting action and failure thereafter, which is uh, uh, just a classic stair-stepping decline. So uh, pretty, pretty rough. Uh, looking stock at this point in time. So the next one we have is our sort of a mystery stock. What are we seeing here, John? Well, we have certainly moved down into a structure beginning, say, in the August, September area, relatively flat since then. Sharp move down, but look at that rally back up into the structure. So that keys on a couple of different types of uh, features within the world of Wyckoff. It could be this, it could be that. Could be a spring type action, but it could also be a breakdown with a uh, subsequent rally that's coming back up to what we call the ice. So ambiguity here, but very interesting case study. Your thoughts, Professor? Absolutely. Looks like a breakdown. So far, it's not rallied up through the overhanging uh, old support which is now resistance and it would have to uh just keep moving up here and be able to show that no longer is this overhead supply a factor in holding the stock down and you can see something somewhat akin to that back here in november december of 21 where there's a spring type event here and then it turns back up and just starts running up through old resistance persistently and goes into a nice bullish uptrend for a period of time, really about four months. And so with that, you can see that uh, it does have the capacity to do that still a little bit early, but this is what we would want to see. So there is ambiguity here, but uh, it came up on your scans. And so John, the big question here is how do we find these ideas? These are all interesting. They're all compelling. And uh, how do we uh, look for these and uh, find them to be able to, in fact, uh, focus on them, analyze them, and potentially trade them? Well, that's the Wyckoff Market Report. This is a report that is scanning-based. Idea is to look for and categorize Wyckoff elements in the major indices to both give us opportunities to look at those elements, and we've seen four from this report as well as a mystery stock. It's organized in a top-down fashion so that you can get an overall perspective on the marketplace, indices, sectors, industry groups, and then you can move in with an idea of what's performing, where the strength is, and begin to evaluate how these stocks and formations and Wyckoff elements are actually illustrating the market and the opportunities presented. Your thoughts, Professor? Well, this uh, report and a lot of work went into this and uh, John's uh, scanning chops really played a key role in uh, designing and defining these different uh, es essential uh, setups in a Wyckoffian structure so that we can lay eyeballs on the most important ideas. So, uh, and with being able to have a top-down view of the market as a whole, from uh, index to sector to industry group, 
and then into the individual setups. And so the other part about it is the productivity miracle is that all of these are uh, links. And so you can go into the PDF of the report and click on whatever interests you and then see immediately the chart of that. And you can get through a lot of really critical stocks and themes by just going through these links. And so here are the bottom industry groups at this time. And each week this report comes out and does that. But let's get down here where the events are. So here's an event summary so you can see how many events are taking place. And here are the events. And that is springs and LPSs, up thrusts and last points of supply, all essential white coffee and attributes, breakouts and backups, and breakdowns broken ice. And so these are the categories of searches that are uh, summarized in this report. So here, in fact, are the springy events. And so these would be uh, springs and LPSs. It's a relatively small list this week, but here you can see uh, the stocks that best categorize those characteristics in the scanning engine. And so, John, your thoughts? Well, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Encompass Health, of course, number nine on the list. We looked at that first. And this gives us the opportunity to see what's interacted with support and pop back up and in. In fact, each category is a different interaction between price and support resistance and how uh, they resolve. So it gives us very interesting and unique white coffee and barometer on market events. That's so pretty interesting. So let's just pick one and link to it. Look at this. So you can sit here on your iPad, your computer, and you can just do the links and just go through chart after chart after chart, all categorized by the essential Wyckoff characteristics. And so here you can see train technology, building materials. Look at this beautiful structure. So this is actually an LPS in the springy category. And so it has a little bit of a spring type action below key support here. And then note how quickly and sharply it turns up and gets right to resistance, slightly above these uh, two resistance points. And now this all looks like accumulation. So if we can get uh, some kind of a pause or back up here or slightly higher, this could be a classic place to see completion of accumulation. John, uh, your thoughts? Well, look at the clear air you've got from uh, the 170 area to 200. You have about, what, 15 18% upside based on what's been detected so far on the spring level. So could be a good opportunity there. You can tell from the the velocity of that last move, big boys want to own this, and that's an important factor. And the, the key feature is, is that the important composite operator types already do own it, it appears. So here are the up thrusts, and here's a list of these all linkable so that you can see the individual ideas. And you've also organized the list, John, uh, from the high point to the low point based on where they stand in the scanning process, uh, as I understand it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So when you're looking at the bottom of the list, you're looking at different characteristics in the top. Here's breakouts right. and backups. And with that, we are out of time. Thank you, John. Great you. Uh, walk through this and uh, the Wyckoff characteristics. And we'll talk to you again next time. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.